Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how to embed your IRC code from Risa into your MP3 or WAV file? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Cue the intro! What's up, it's Skill from SkillMusicEssay.com and welcome to my channel where I share information with my fellow South African musicians to help them improve on their music business. If this sounds interesting to you, please do consider subscribing as I do have other videos I think you will find informative. In this video, I plan on demystifying exactly how to embed your ISRC code from Risa into your MP3 file and your WAV file. This is to track the ownership of a song where it may be played on radio or in any other public space. I'm gonna head over to my computer to show you exactly how to do that. What's up? So the very first thing you're gonna to have to do is download two pieces of software. The first one is ISRC Editor by Seronis. I've left the link in the bio. It's free, so nothing has to be paid. Use this to change your ISRC, embed your ISRC code into your WAV file. And then the second piece of software is this mp3 tag the universal tag editor i've also left the link in the bio it is also free you can use this to embed your irsrc code and other information into your wave and into your image file so i'm going to open up the irsrc editor once you've installed the software it's a very simple interface so this is it right here uh, let me change the background so you can see it easier Yes, this is it right here. So you open the WAV file. Okay. Uh, let me just find where, let me just, I'm going to put the RSRC code in one of my beats to make life easy. I'm going to put it into the tagged one. Yes. So this is the WAV file. I'm going to open it up. Okay. And then it tells you what WAV is in there. So now it is up to you to put the RSRC code in there. So this is going to be the first RSRC code that I'm using. And then you put your RSRC code here. You make sure this is the RSRC that you get from Risa. This is the very first code that I'm using for this year. So this is the correct code. So I'm going to click on save WAV file. And then when you save the WAV file, you're probably going to want to save it as embedded file. Embedded. RSRC, embed RSRC. I like to save them separately just to double check if there's not too much of a quality change. But for this tutorial, I'm going to leave it like this because I don't want to save on top of my original file. So it's the tag on RSRC. Then I'm going to click save. And then it's going to take some time. It's quick. It does one file at a time. So let me just open it up again. RSRC editor. And then just to double check that the file does have my RSRC code. There it is. So you can't save on top of the RSRC. This is the easiest way to put it on a WAV file. But now let's say you want to add some other information into the WAV file or you have an MP3 file. You can't use this editor. So that's when the second piece of software MP3 tag editor comes in. So I'm going to open it up. This one's a little more complex interface. Okay, so I'm going to click on it here. This is the file. So you have to navigate the file. The way you do it is you open up the... Let me just make it so you can see what I'm doing on the screen. Okay, so you open up the folder and then you just simply drag the file that you want to edit. So that's the file I want to edit. Uh, that's the MP3 file. That's the WAV file. Okay, a uh, nice trick that if you close it after you've pasted the file that you want, it automatically goes to that directory. So then all the files in that folder will be open. That's just a quick way of getting everything that you want to see with this piece of software you can change a lot of metadata quickly at the same time so but in this case i'm going to keep on working on that same wave file this wave file just in, i'm just going to make it bigger because you don't need to see anything anymore it's just to note that this tag this is the tag type of tag that the previous software used so in some systems whatever system uses that previous method of tagging will be able to pick up the initial method but with this way you can again modify it so let me just um, change the title um, you can add more information in the software so skill music say b tape x and then you can put in the year 2020 is the year it's the first track it's a hip-hop beat comment produced you can just put a little comment there Skill music, uh, music essay, uh, I'm the artist, 
and then for compose i generally use the name you'd use for your for samro because that's how they find your disk number okay i haven't shown you anything about the irsrc yet because i just want to put all that information in so in order to put the irsrc you go to this icon next to the aa where it says extended tags you click on extended tags and then it shows you there there's the irsrc code already embedded in that first file i used this irsrc was embedded in the other software so it was good to see that it shows in here too so you could also additionally let me just copy that uh okay i'm going to use the tagged version now to do the exact same thing so i'm going to show you how to add the isrc code if you didn't use serona's isrc tag for an mp3 okay let's change the genre because you don't want to put you in a playlist with blues now do you hip-hop put hip-hop in there okay so i'm going to add a tag extended tags okay you can edit this tag from blues to hip hop hip hop ah, hip hop okay and then over here it says add a new field so you can add isrc isrc and then that was the value of the isrc code but i want to make this I'm going to keep it as one because the mp3 and WAV file are the exact same copy just in different formats so in the mp3 i can do it like this and then you click ok and there you have it the irsrc is in there some other nice things you can do in mp3 tag you can also add your cover so here's the cover nicely in the directory already and then you'll see it there at the bottom so other things you might want to do is like let's add the title for example or oh. everything's in there it's very important that you click save every time you change anything because if you don't click save it won't save the metadata try keep the image very low in size so the mp3 doesn't grow too much in size and then you can add all the other information that you had over here but a nice thing with mp3 tag you can select everything and then you can change all this metadata yourself all in one big go so you don't do multiple things at the same time the music say comment produced by skill music say the year was actually produced it last year but for the sake of this beat tape i'm going to keep the genre i'm going to make sure that they all say hip-hop hip-hop yeah and then skill music say it's very good if you're handing out beat tapes it's very good to keep put in your metadata in there so you will be able to track well whoever hears the beat when it plays on a player of some sort they'll have all the information and as you can see it highlights all that information um a nice thing you can also do with all of them is if you want to change the cover put one cover one cover on them all this will save you a lot of time then you click on save See, all that information is the same but only this one is the isrc code i hope that helps you know how to embed your isrc code in the metadata for your music and that concludes this episode where i show you exactly how to embed your wave file in your mp3 file i hope you found this video informative and if you like the video please hit the thumbs up and if you like this video please consider subscribing as this helps me know what other information i should be focusing my efforts in to help you improve in your own music business and until next time skilligan the hooligan sign out